uh, J.T. O'Connell asks, um, when possible, I subject leftists to mutual open-mindedness testing. That is, I describe the leftist views to their satisfaction, and then they describe my views to my satisfaction. Interrupting here, that is the mark of a great uh, debater, and that is a mark of somebody who's got a tremendous uh, ability to win arguments. Th they say that if that you, the only they, I've heard many times the only way we can have a real argument would be if I start out stating your position in such a way that you said that's fair, and then you'd state my position in a way that I'd say that's fair. But to continue with what JT wrote here, without fail, if I find that leftists do not even know my position. They don't hate us. They hate the caricature created as a totem to represent us. That's maybe the best sentence I've ever read. It's absolutely true. How do we penetrate through this false identity used to hide the things we actually believe? And is this why it becomes easy to turn leftists once you manage to shed light on our true beliefs instead of the facade that they've been blinded by for their entire lives? There's so much to say about this. I just do an hour just on this. Um, they're precisely correct. They they don't hate us. They hate what we think we are. And when I've gone to liberal colleges, uh, which hasn't been a lot, I found that I thought I was going to go and say, look, I'm going to give you guys a real reasonable, uh, rational description of what conservatism is. And I realized both times very quickly, very quickly, that actually what I needed to do and, and my work was done when I convinced them that I was just a, a, a decent guy. You know, when, once they realized I was a decent guy that I actually cared about people, um, they were astonished. And so this is the result of them using this unearned moral superiority against us. Uh, we, we have better ideas, but that doesn't matter because we're evil. We're the villains. And when they find out that you're not evil, then they have to listen to you in a way that they weren't prepared to before. And that is why it's so easy to flip them. And really what it comes down to is they claim that um, they care about people, and we don't, and we're only interested in money. And uh, and the way you beat this argument is you say, no, we actually care more about people than you do because your policies have been ruinous. There's no question about that. Just look at Detroit. Death by Democrats. And you keep doing the same things to enslave entire blocks of the population, and and you tell yourself that you're doing good, but anybody can see that you're doing harm. And we believe that, that, that there's a better way to do this, and we believe there's a better way to do it because we care more about these people. We care more about the, 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 the people who are hurting in America than you do because we're willing to do unpopular things to make it better while you're only willing to do popular things to make yourself look good. So, um, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, but once they find out that you're coming from a place of humanity, it's it's actually pretty easy, JT. And one of the, you know, every now and then I just think of things on the fly and they become part of my routine. They pretty much work their way into all their sketches, uh, this, uh, speeches and, and stuff. But I think the, I think there's just this, remember I just had a blinding flash when I first uttered this. I thought, this is so good. It's, it's such a good argument because it's so true. And that was the argument that when I said, uh, look, if health care were free, I'd be a progressive on health care. What kind of a jerk would you have to be to say no health care for you if it were free? I mean, seriously, if you were going to deny people free health care, which is what they claim we're trying to do, we're trying to deny people free health care. Of course you'd be a, a, a low-life bastard if you were trying to deny people free health care just because you didn't like the way they looked. And if health care were free, I'd be a progressive about health care. And if other things like that were free, I'd probably be a progressive about a bunch of things. If there wasn't an external threat, I'd probably be progressive about the military. And if there wasn't, uh, you know, if you could just not just print money forever and not have any consequences, I'd be a progressive about all of that stuff. I'd be a progressive about all the stuff that they're progressive about if it were true. But it's not. Health care isn't free. It costs money. So since it costs money, we got to talk about how to pay for it. Once we talk about how to pay for it, then we have, then we're back on conservative ground competition and, uh, and and all the rest of this stuff, using the market to help you instead of to hurt you. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it is easy to flip them, JT, but the first thing you have to do to flip them is you have to show them enough humanity to, to make them believe that uh, you really do care about people and you care about them as much as they do, if not more, and you have a different way of trying to achieve success than they do. And this is where you can really get some leverage because I don't think there's a progressive out there who can say, you know, that 70 years of Democratic uh, voting by uh, black America has left black America in a state of absolute magnificence. I don't think there's anybody making the case that black America's just sailing along. This couldn't be better for them. They've been voting Democrat for 60, 70 years. You can't get around that. And um, 
And so that's how you can uh, get to these people, I think, and just get in there and flip them. But, yeah, you've got to show them the humanity first and, uh, and the com- actual compassion. I mean, I'm, I'm a conservative because I feel compassionate towards people. I don't, want to, I don't want them to be slaves. I don't want to trade them, you know, food pellets for votes. I find it repulsive. I don't want those kind of votes. It's like, it's like stealing money or winning by cheating. It's not – it's immoral and it's evil. So once you come from those places and you make it clear you're actually trying to do some good, then there you go.